So stupid. They're acting like sisters aren't getting whacked out on a regular in New Orleans. Yeah. Um, I think I think this, this is, is not this, new. Th- no, I'm just saying like three in the last 24 hours. I think they're saying that like it's, 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 it's maybe it's an uptick. Let's see. And I'm a I hope it's all sisters. Three women killed in the past 24 hours, adding to what is already an uptick in the amount of female victims across New Orleans. As Natasha Robin explains, Mayor Cantrell says the killings are not random acts of violence. But I heard oh, yeah. the shooting last night. Me and my wife, we dove on the floor. Two women shot multiple times in the 1000 block of North Claiborne. Both rushed that's to the so. hospital where they died. You know that area? Oh yeah, that's that's right by the interstate and shit. Mm. Before this double murder, another woman, a mother, gunned down in the middle of the street in New Orleans East. It's tragic, but this is what we're seeing in our households and families. Three women in a 24 hour period shot and killed. So far this year, 12 women became homicide victims according to the Metropolitan Crime. Damn, it looked like 12 women on the damn police team. <laughs> yeah, the new and improved NOPD. I was about to say, like, ain't those all girls? Like, what the fuck? They all big as two, man. That one, that one glider <laughs> in the middle there, like, fuck. The chief, is the chief, yeah, the chief is a son woman too, yeah. The chief, the mayor. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Cantrell basically blamed it on, uh, on everybody else or, or she blamed it on the woman she's like well you know i don't know what i can say but i'll say that this was not random they you know they were involved in this like okay so maybe they were out in the streets you know but yeah like, you're basically to blame for this shit too bitch yeah this is crazy man <laughs> yo women man god damn man hey man what is that equal rights equals left man shit women became homicide victims According to the Metropolitan Crime Commission, the victims range in age from 14 years old to 57. Uh, what I will say is none of these acts are random at all. And what we have to understand that women also play a role in violent activity in our city. Marilyn Woo! She ain't wrong, though. No, but I mean, she... Is the bad black, too? That ain't popular, man. That ain't gonna make her too many friends, man. Dance and shit like that, man. Good God Almighty. She, ooh, she, shit. I'll play a role in violent activity in our city. Mayor LaToya Cantrell says the NOPD is paying very close attention to what's unfolding, but she points out women are being targeted for various reasons. Unfortunately, uh, people are involved in criminal activity in our city, and it plays out on the streets of New Orleans, and it is all genders, right? And we're seeing that LSU health criminologist Peter Scharf says in the Only past, one race, though. women and children were not the target of violence, but something's changed. Revenge killings, we get whole families involved as collateral damage. And that is downright scary. And how do we dig out? If you look at 2022, when it comes to murders of women, that was one of the highest years that we've had since 1996. The recent murders of women across New Orleans caught the attention of Councilwoman Helena Moreno. With one woman, um, a mother of a five-year-old murdered yesterday, uh, two women murdered overnight today. It just, it's just so much. Moreno Don't says well, she doesn't know the circumstances of the most recent killings, advocates have reported that domestic violence is at extreme levels. They are seeing um, big- Them hoes was killed in the street. That was ain't no thing. domestic violence, damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and look, it's the, how many women is here? It is the CSI team. It's like one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> goddamn CSI, goddamn shit. What the fuck? Night today. It just, it's just so much. Moreno says, "Well, she doesn't know the circumstances." Hold on, the- that's a white woman. Yep. It's one, two, three. What the fuck? <laughs> and look at the glider. He got his sleeves rolled up because he got to do all the work for real. He fucking he got he, he they worked him so hard he rolled up his sleeves, man. He just... <laughs> it's getting hot down there. <laughs> God damn, man. What the fuck going on, man? What the hell? Man, this shit is ridiculous, man. I I I hope you ladies don't think I'm sexist, man. I gotta go down there soon, I. Oh, God. 
I believe women are very, I have a daughter. I love my daughter, love my mother, love my wife sometimes. And it's like, man, dude, I I, I think women are, women are awesome, man. But God damn, man. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Some shit, man, we need men to do, man. Let's just be real, man. And listen, <laughs> the real shit we are doing, paving roads and fucking digging trenches and aqueducts and ma- building dams and shit like that and con- making canals and manning fucking fighter jets and some um, fighter um boat. What's those boats that the fighter jets land on? Um, God damn. Aircraft carrier? Yeah, aircraft carriers. Hey, so we're doing, we are doing, you know, Zan, you don't see no woman hanging from the side of the fucking um, World Trade Center cleaning windows and shit, but it's like, we are doing that stuff, but let us do, let us take care of the police work, ladies, please. Who says, while well, she doesn't know the circumstances of the most recent killings, advocates have reported that domestic violence is at extreme levels. They are seeing um, victims who actually have contract hits out on them by the offender. Moreno is calling for stronger enforcements on firearms. We have to make sure that we're going after people who who have firearms who should not have them. And I'm talking about felons, and I'm also talking about those who are under a protective order or are facing domestic abuse battery charges. Sharp agrees. Maybe you should just be talking about black people. He says while domestic... (laughs) Yeah, because, you know... Black people who shouldn't have firearms would really be getting to the core of this issue. Exactly, man. Exactly, man. It, it's it's it's. I don't know if they're ever gonna really be comfortable saying that, man. I, it's like I don't take pleasure in saying that. I think it's funny, but like you know, that's what it is. Like if you focus specifically on that, you could wrap this problem up. Yeah, that's the actual whole problem, man. It's like it, it literally. Is like trying to like fix the problem, like we we being creative, like we we just we showing off. It's like showing off. It's like instead of just laying the ball in, it's like putting it around your back, coming up and throwing it up over the. It's like a horse shot when you just need to lay the ball in and shit, man. Mm-hmm. If you just threw every, you know, some person wearing a push icy mask up against the wall and stop and frisk them aggressively, and you know, rest of the people who had the guns eventually you'd see some improvement there look at new orleans look at the, the, the this is the this is the gun memorial from new orleans so these are the people that are murdered not these not these last three they're not on there but you know up until the 5th of may look at this shit i mean like you you notice in a pattern all my life <laughs> I mean, real sunny real sensational <laughs> look, look at this shit, man. I mean, it literally is about 95%, 99% son. Oh, the chef, man. They killed that chef, man. God damn Shot it, by his son, man, no doubt. Oh, shit. They killed this chef, Shot man. Shot in the bywater. Very high chance of sunny activity what's, there. What's the bywater? Bywater is like uh, to the east of, uh, or I don't know, it's like the, yeah, it, it's. It, it's like a artsy um, area, but it's at it, night it gets like it's hunting ground. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's by yeah. some old projects. They still have killed Dom DeLuise, man. <laughs> Fuck, man. Shit. Yeah. Look at this shit, man. Um, who this fucking glider, man? Is that glider? Yeah, I think that was glad. Dominic Tomlin. Jumped yeah. on the train tracks. 14 year old and he's 14 god damn they got him out of there damn they got him up out of there man early <laughs> god dog. do it say do it say what he got like what happened shot um, killed dumped on the train tracks <laughs> um in an extremely struck- sunny area <laughs> he was struck by a passing train the board investigation police said they discovered the man had been had been who had been fatally shot and lying on the tracks. Damn, that's some no. The train dude. hit him. The train hit him. Yeah, the train hit him. 
Yeah, so basically, um, stopped the ass and just left them on the on, on the yeah, rails. Yeah, they shot him and left him on the tracks at fourteen. God damn, man. Shit. I'm gonna hurt Sarah Elizabeth Oregon, man. Suicide. Oh, oh wait, he booked him with murder though. Oh, the boyfriend did it. Oh, she don't look like a filthy fish to me, man. I don't know. She looked like a regular white girl, man. Yeah, she's a regular. Yeah, she, her, um, her, her man was a, um, was a glider. So yeah, man. Ooh, damn! Look at that shit, man. God damn! God damn! <laughs> Kill the fuck out of some shit. They killing me. Demetrius. Jesus Christ, man. They some killer. They uh, who got Daryl Gonzalez? Ooh, <laughs> Glider in the middle left. Oh man, killed the lower knife world ward was a commercial fisher and a father too. Low, lower low, knife, <laughs> lower knife ward, famously sunny. Oh shit, damn, damn. The thing is, Doc, in New Orleans, if there's a murder, you can almost yeah. guarantee. Yeah, no, I mean, like, God, these people are savages. <laughs> God damn. Shit. Now y'all know how it feels to be killed for nothing but yeah. your skin color. They've been killing up for years. Nobody ever say anything when we I'm get glad they're getting murked a fucking mile a minute. Jeez. Yeah, the sun man. Hey, yo, we always complain about everything. We complain about the most shit in the world, but we do the most <laughs> stupidest, craziest. He's saying violence. that shit, and then they're like, oh, why? Why did you decide to attack him? Well, he was white, you know. He looked like you know he won't go put up much of a fight and shit. Like the first thing the sun man think of is, oh, there you go, white guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Wow, this guy was killed by a stray bullet. Cause he's a ball worker. He was killed by a stray bullet, man. Son. <laughs> um, a woman was arrested. Oh, it says, yeah, a woman was arrested. Oh shit, that's a woman. Yeah. Hold on, what the fuck? Probably one of those borderline. Can't even tell. A twenty-four-year-old woman was fired. Of, was was fired a fatal shot. Um, he was in a crowd about a wedding party. And I guess son, son, sister got the shooting. Yeah, she outside. got into an argument with another son. Oh shit! I Look remember at this. this one. Look at this. Look at this son. Look at this son, sister, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. She might be from Philly, man. Look at this shit, man. God damn, man. Uh, she looks like a life. sister I used to bust rocks in a Russian gulag with. Jesus Christ, man. Slim, Slim 74 says, white, a 60-year-old man acting like and dressing like a 12-year-old child. So he fits right in the sun world. Yeah, man. Told you he, he got it down, man. You got a stunning growth, man. That's how you act like a son, man. You stunning growth, man. Like, you legit cannot even fucking tell, man. You walk past <laughs> that on the sidewalk, who knows? Yeah, man. Whoever fucked with her was stupid. That guy was dumb. Um, but yeah, so anyway, a lot of women getting killed in New Orleans, man. Violence is certainly a factor. There are other reasons why women are getting killed more often. The other argument is that this is collateral damage in the drug war. So these are hits. There ain't no fucking drugs involved. Discourage uh, competition by drug dealers. But definitely not random. But we will not rest. Because at the end of the day, it's traumatizing to everyone. And those families, those women matter. Natasha? That was Natasha Robin reporting. A deputy known Chicago gang member suspected in four murders in Southern California are finally captured. The invest These dudes are wanted for four murders in L.A. These Chicago gang members went to L.A. and caught four bodies. Long range hunter gatherers. Yeah, somebody in the comment section was like, hunter gatherers were um were peaceful. Do you understand that most hunter gatherers were were fucking cannibals? 
cannibalism was rife in um a lot of those um societies, those indigenous societies before the white man showed up, man. Cannibalism was was was, was I mean was, was 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 normal, Jack. It wasn't even seen as nothing wrong until the white man showed up. They was hunting, they was hunting all right. They was hunting all right. Don't get me wrong. They eat bush meat. They eat they they kill animals, but hey man, they also enjoyed human flesh too. These people, this shit is these people are savages. We're savages, man. Look at this shit, man. Three known Chicago gang members suspected in four murders in Southern California are finally captured. The investigation and arrest spanning across multiple states. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia is live at LAPD headquarters in downtown LA with the latest developments. Sid? The suspects and the victims are all from Chicago. The three women were murdered in January. The one man was. Oh, I remember those three girls that was killed at that party in that car. Oh, shit. So these guys killed them three girls. Damn. Yeah, look, hey, women getting murked. Sun women. Listen, man. God, I wonder what the rates. Is it like children? You know how they say um, guns are the leading cause of deaths in children, such and such. I wonder if, and we all know it's only if you remove black children from there, it becomes like the hundredth cause. I think of that death. one's way more of a significant factor than women dying by gunshots. I mean, that does happen a lot in glider communities too, in every community, I would say, in the United States. So maybe so, maybe maybe somewhat more. In mm. LA with the latest developments. Sid? The suspects and the victims are all from Chicago. The three women were murdered in January. The one man was killed right before Christmas in the last year. All three suspects are now awaiting extradition back to Los Angeles. The shooting happened on January 28th in the Beverly Crest neighborhood of Los Angeles. It borders with Beverly Hills. After following leads from the public and ones detectives gather from witnesses, arrests have been made in connection to the three women who were murdered and the man who was shot and killed in North Hollywood last December. The victims and the suspects are all from Chicago. The three men in custody our 28-year-old Darius Stanford, 22-year-old Dante Williams, and the third suspect is 28-year-old Dejan Tompkins. Police say all three are known Chicago gang members. Police won't say why the three suspects traveled all the way from Chicago to Los Angeles to commit the murders. Now, working with the FBI, Chicago, and New York City police, one was arrested in Chicago, one in Indiana, and the third in Manhattan. Man, give these people a round of applause, man. Three fucking boons, she cause she boons get killed and shit. And these motherfuckers find one in Chicago, one in Indiana, and one in Manhattan, man. They white man scoured the earth to get these goddamn killers, man. They sure keep us busy. <laughs> yeah, man. What's up, son? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Stella? Not me personally, I would say. Like what, up, what up? What up? What's up, Hawk? What up, Nation? Yeah, man. Why y'all keeping, keeping these gliders so busy, man? Y'all keep me busy, like on the train, you know, evasive maneuvers and that kind of thing, for sure. Keep your head on a swivel. Yeah, man. You still mad at white people for that? All that shit they did to you over um spring break or whatever, but. Yeah, yeah, I'm still Those are glider gremlins, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sick about that shit. Yeah, let that shit go, man. Listen, man, y'all, we they, 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 they getting us. We, we getting them back, man. We working them like Hebrew slaves, man. Running around the country catching all these killers, man. Man, that that was spring break, man. We done had so many other altercations and almost run-ins since then, man. It's crazy. Oh, really? White people still fucking with you, man? What the hell, man? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't see. You know what? I don't get me wrong. I've had incidents with gliders in the past that you know, but but it's, it's 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 very rare it rarely happens i ain't have them back to back to back like you have man hey 
Oh, it happens, man. man. Damn, man. Fucked up, man. Can you talk to them hot black and tell them to leave I'm standing alone? <laughs> yeah, Karen, come get your kids and shit. Yeah, man. Fuck, salute to Deluxe 247, a.k.a. Cal Ripley, a.k.a. The Real MVP, coming through once again, man. Make sure y'all hit that PayPal. Make sure y'all hit that Cash App. Make sure you hit that Super Chat, man. You being entertained, man, on the, the late night, man. I'm like Jay Leno, man, the black Jay Leno, man, black Johnny Carson, man. Indiana and the third in Manhattan. The collaboration and cooperation between law enforcement agencies across the country is crucial in ensuring that those responsible for such brazen acts of violence are brought to justice no matter where they attempt may attempt to flee. Stanford and Williams have each been charged with three counts of murder and six counts of attempted murder. Tompkins has been charged with I mean, four Sun counts. Man with the D name is a rap. How many counts of murder did they say? Six? Hold on, let me see. Hold Sorry, on. I have interrupted. No, no, no. What the fuck? I know they didn't say six counts of murder. Attempt to flee. Stanford and Williams have each been charged with three counts of murder and six counts of attempted murder. Oh, six counts of attempted murder. Okay. Okay. So these these are just, you know, they're just, just normal shit. I was about to say six murders. We into we into some we in next level shit. Three murders ain't shit. Well, son, man, but um, yeah, salute to Eric S, man, coming through once again. Counts of murder and six counts of attempted murder. Tompkins has been charged with four counts. Along with this case, he's also linked to the murder of Julian Bynum, who was murdered right before Christmas in North Hollywood. The three women are 29-year-old Nina Davis, 26-year-old Destiny Sims, and 33-year-old Iyana Hutton. Police tell us the three women rented an Airbnb to follow a Chicago-based rapper. They were murdered in front of the house they were renting. They were not, according to police, the suspect's intended target. On behalf of the LAPD, we are saddened by this horrible loss of life and hope the arrest of Yeah, but this is what you get for being proximal. You rented the house of some Chicago rappers. And you know them Chicago rappers talking about smoking on packs and shit and smoking on dead homies and shit. And we up and, you know, we up three. They keep scoring shit. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? They, they do all that fucking gangster shit. And you, you these whores, these hoes was, um, was into that shit, man. They was in too deep, man. Way too proximal, man. The suspect's intended target. On behalf of the LAPD, we are saddened by this horrible loss of life and hope the arrest of those responsible for these acts will bring some comfort to the families and friends who lost their loved ones. Again, police didn't want to talk about why the three suspects drove all the way to L.A. to allegedly commit the murders. Again, I'll bring our waiting expedition to face justice here in Los Angeles.